because I don't want to work out. Let's just keep reading. Hi guys, this is Connie, and um, the beauty of this segment of Connie Reads is I'm learning that the chapters are really quick. Quick. Quick? Really quick. So, that'll be nice. Let's get started. With chapter two, Connie Reads Max the Mighty. A Girl Called Worm. The girl keeps screaming and my brain is going, mind your own business. Somebody else can help her, not you. But there isn't anybody else and the screaming doesn't stop. And before I know it, my stupid feet start running over the cracks in the sidewalk, taking me closer and closer to trouble. When I get to the corner of the block, I see this gang banger messing around in the middle of the street. He's strutting around with his hands behind his back and he's got this sneering expression like he knows a really funny joke and you'll never get it. Keep screaming, he says. Nobody cares. The scream is coming from this skinny red-haired girl who's maybe 11 or 12 years old. She's got bright green eyes and freckles and her clothes are about two sizes too big and she's screaming bloody murder, murder even though nobody's touching her. You big creep, shouts the red-headed girl. Lunkhead, bug brain, give it back. <clears throat> Louder, the gangbanger says. I can't hear you. Then he catches sight of me, and his grin gets wider and wider. What do you know, he says. Dinosaur boy to the rescue. I thought I felt the ground shaking. Before I can stop my mouth from saying something stupid, it goes, huh? The, gang bang <laughs> the gangbanger loves it. Huh? He says. Is that dinosaur talk for I'm retarded? That's when I notice the skinny red-haired girl is staring at me. It's not a friendly kind of stare. She probably thinks I'm one of the gangbangers, or maybe a retard, like he says. I go, leave her alone. Take it easy, Maxi Pad. We're just having a little fun, the gangbanger says. You got a problem with that? The girl shakes her fist at him and goes, give it back or else. The gangbanger looks at her puny little fist and smirks. Oh, he goes, you gonna hit me? Then he dances around taunting her and I see he's got a hold of this small green backpack, a girl's backpack for carrying school stuff. Give it back to her, I say. He crosses his eyes and makes an oink oink noise. Pig boy, you better go home to granny. I try to grab it, but he darts away, his teeth flashing white because he's having such a good time. Moron Max, he laughs, you're scaring me. The red-haired girl makes a move, but she can't touch him. Bookworm, bookworm, ugly little bookworm, he chants. Shut up, she says. She's so mad, her eyes look like they're full of green electricity. Worm girl, the gangbanger cackles. What you have in here? Worm food, is that it? He opens up her backpack and roots around inside with this totally mean look on his face. Then he goes, Whoa, what do we have here? He pulls out a couple of paperback books and tosses them over his shoulder. Pages scatter and blow away like white leaves. Oh, you're real tough, the girl says. You can beat up a book. I bet you never even read a book. Then the gangbanger whistles and pulls something else out of the backpack. A hard plastic helmet with a light on the front, like miners wear so they can see in the dark. Don't you dare touch that, the girl shouts. And then she goes mental and tries to grab the miner's helmet. He grins and ducks away. Finders keepers, he shouts. Losers weepers. But Worm isn't weeping. She's going nuts, jumping up and trying to grab the helmet. He keeps dancing away, laughing in her face. I wait my chance, and when he isn't looking, I get behind him and lift the helmet off his head. Hey, he bellows. But I hold the miner's helmet up high, and he can't reach it. Give me that, he says, or I'll punch your lights out. Try it. The gangbanger curls up his fist and sets up on his feet like a boxer for a moment. And for a moment, I think he really is going to punch me. Then he looks at the girl and he looks at me and he spits on the ground by my feet. Who cares about your stupid junk, he says, and saunters away like he couldn't care less. Like he's the coolest dude in the whole wide world because he ripped up a book and scared an 11 year old girl. The girl has eyes like green laser beams and this fierce look on her freckled face like she thinks I'm the enemy too. I go, here, and I give her the helmet. 
The way she holds it in her hands, you know it means something special. What's it for? I asked. None of your business, she says, and then she hugs the scratched up old helmet to her chest and runs away, her thick red hair flying up like it wants to wave goodbye. My brain doesn't know it yet, but that's when trouble really started. The day I met a girl called Worm. Every small chapter gets better and better. Be careful with that and enjoy, please, and thank you. Bye.